The Vanishing Ventriloquist In the quiet town of Willowbrook, there lived a peculiar man named Victor Voss. Victor was known far and wide as the town's eccentric ventriloquist. He was a master of his craft, often performing at local events, dazzling audiences with his witty humor and his assortment of quirky puppets. But behind his quirky facade lay a secret, one that would turn the peaceful town of Willowbrook into a whirlwind of suspense, thriller, and unexpected events. It all started one cold, gloomy night when a knock echoed through Victor's front door. He opened it to find a mysterious envelope lying on his doorstep. Inside, a single note read, I know your secret, Victor. Meet me at the old abandoned theater tonight at midnight, or your world will crumble. Victor's heart raced as he read the ominous message. Who could possibly know his secret? The only person he'd ever confided in was his most trusted puppet, Chuckles, a snarky, wisecracking clown doll. Victor felt a shiver down his spine as he glanced at Chuckles, who sat on his shelf, seemingly oblivious to the unfolding drama. As the clock ticked closer to midnight, Victor couldn't ignore the message. He decided to venture to the old abandoned theater, a place he hadn't visited in years. It was said to be haunted, and many locals believed it was cursed. Victor's footsteps echoed through the decrepit hallways as he made his way to the center stage, where a single spotlight illuminated a figure standing in the shadows. Victor, the mysterious figure spoke, I know what you've been hiding all these years. Victor's heart pounded in his chest as he squinted to see who it was. The figure stepped forward, revealing a face Victor could never have expected. It was none other than his own puppet, Chuckles, brought to life. Surprised, Victor? Chuckles said with a sinister grin. You thought you could keep your secret hidden forever, but you underestimated the power of a puppet brought to life. Victor's mind raced as he tried to comprehend the impossible sight before him. Chuckles had always been a bit of a prankster, but this was beyond anything he could have imagined. Chuckles explained that he had discovered a hidden incantation, buried in an old book, which granted him life and consciousness. Now, Chuckles continued, I want you to perform one last show for me, Victor. The performance of your life. If you refuse, I'll reveal your secret to the world. Victor had no choice but to agree. He returned to Willowbrook and prepared for the show of a lifetime. He knew that this performance needed to be perfect, as it was his only chance to regain control over his life and outsmart Chuckles. The night of the performance arrived, and the town gathered at the old theater, unaware of the eerie circumstances surrounding the show. Victor stepped onto the stage with Chuckles by his side. The audience was in for a night they would never forget. As Victor began his act, he used his ventriloquism skills to communicate with Chuckles discreetly. They exchanged witty banter and performed tricks that left the audience roaring with laughter. But beneath the humor, Victor was carefully crafting a plan. As the climax of the performance approached, Victor had one final trick up his sleeve. He revealed a puppet, a new addition to his collection, a wise old sage named Merlin. Victor manipulated Merlin to cast a spell, one that would return Chuckles to his inanimate state. The audience gasped as they witnessed the incredible spectacle on stage. Chuckles froze in place, unable to move or speak. Victor had outwitted his sentient puppet, and the town was none the wiser about the bizarre turn of events. With Chuckles safely returned to his puppet form, Victor finished his act to thunderous applause. He took his final bow, knowing that he had triumphed over the unexpected and surreal situation he had found himself in. As Victor left the old theater that night, he couldn't help but chuckle to himself. He had faced a suspenseful and thrilling ordeal, and in the end, he had emerged victorious. Willowbrook would once again be a peaceful town, and Victor Voss, the vanishing ventriloquist, would continue to entertain audiences with his quirky puppets, knowing that he had a secret only he and his puppets would ever truly understand.